Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. I'm the captain. We've got I.I. Cutton Ibanez. We certainly have, and they are pretty, pretty looking Ibanezes. Uh, just about to get launched at the 2016 NAM show. Yeah. And we're very lucky to get our hands on these because these are super rare at the moment. And uh, Fresh from the hands of my scouser mate Glover. So, anyway, let's go back four or five years to when Ibanez, who I think kind of... I, think I did a back spent, in time thing. I know, I know you did. I think enjoy. Ivan has spent most of the noughties in sort of guitar wilderness, really, not knowing, you know, are we are we trying to be like fusion guitars or metal guitars or alternatives to strats or Les Pauls? I don't know. And then about five years ago, uh, Iron Label came out and it was kind of like, I know what we are. We're pointy guitars with high output kind of pickups on them uh -huh. and skinny <coughs> necks and in dark colors and kind of, you know, we're a rock guitar manufacturer. And, and everyone went, yes, you are. And they bought loads of those guitars. And, it, and, and Iron Label, uh, to this day, is still probably our best-selling um, range of Ibanez guitars. And this is a kind of, um, this, is a, this is a sort of an offshoot of Iron Label called RGD. Um, D for the drop tune. D for the drop, D for the, D for D for the, the drop. The, everybody wants the D, Lee. <laughs> So there's a six string and a seven string, and unusually mm. for guitar demos, I'm holding the seven. <coughs> well, I just made him hold it when we started the video because I thought it would be cool to be, see Lee holding a seven. But these are fab, aren't they? So these are these are from um, Ibanez's Indonesian factory, which, got to be honest with you, is putting you out know, some good stuff. Certainly, some insane value. And you know, it's good quality when there's a lot of natural wood, and you don't see any blemishes or build quality issues. I mean, Lee and I obviously are very used to looking out yeah. for that kind of thing. And um, yeah, they're, they're really, really well made. I have to say, really straight away you pick them up and you think, this, I just want to shred on this guitar, it feels great. So we both have what Ibanez are calling their Nitro Wizard Profile Neck. Obviously Rob's is a little narrower than mine because of the Mine's a bit more like shredding armors. I would say the Nitro Wizard though is not the skinniest Ibanez neck that you're... No. Is that a gag? I missed it's that. It's a Harry Potter gag, but oh, don't worry, may the force that. be with you. Rob is a, is a huge film buff into his whole science fiction, and I couldn't tell a, a Harry Potter from a Gandalf, from a, <laughs> from a Klingon to a to a Jedi. You know, the saddest thing about Harry Potter is that Gandalf dies. Oh, it's, it's terrible, isn't it? Like that. <laughs> Doesn't he take it up to Dumbledore? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Grimaldi um, Hanger. So. Yeah, so the like, so don't expect you know your super skinny wizard kind of necks here, which obviously for player are like you know. <coughs> yeah, but you don't want mega super like. skinny wizard because that's so sort they of say they just banned them in France. Did you know that? I think it's France today. or Italy, super skinny, not wizards, but super skinny models. They've kind of said, oh yeah, good, that's good. It's illegal. Just seriously, that's a really good thing because yeah. I ain't got no time for no skinny ass bitches. No one wants to see us. Now, when I said the B word, I meant it with the utmost respect that for women. Because you, you, what you did was you advanced, you know, women in society, and, and then, then I brought it back, back again, <laughs> in one sentence. Pretty, and I think Rob's is probably a heavier um, sort of figured one than I've got, but they've all got these really pretty bird's eye maple uh, fretboards. Yeah, your eye isn't, um, isn't short of something to look at on this guitar. Yeah, really. But really it isn't pretty. overly bling. And do you know what I like? What do you like? No, I was going to say, no BS binding no and binding. that kind of stuff that you kind of go, ah, no, no. no inlays. Nothing so, ruins the look. So I must admit, this is the, I did a, I did a, a, a little tuition video uh, a few months back on a, on a Chapman Cap 10. 
And uh, they, they said in the video, in future <coughs> for tuition, can you use guitars with fret markers, please? Because it's easier for us to see what you're sort of doing. So no fret markers. We've got them on the sides. So from, from the player's perspective, you can see. But obviously, I guess from a tuition perspective, you can't see. But that's mm. cool. I'm very much enjoying the feel of this recessed bolt-on, Lee. I find it to be really nicely carved in. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, go-to tuners. Go-to uh, locking. No, um, it uh, is locking. Yes, locking machine heads yep. as well. Yeah, Gibraltar absolutely. hardware. Which is Ibanez's so, proprietary bits, isn't it? Yeah, but made by Gibraltar. And then Demasio humbuckers. Yes. I forget what they were called again. Do you know what? So have I. Despite oh, the fact no. that I've looked it up about 17 <laughs> times before we started this, and I said to Rob, I promise you I won't forget. They are Fusion Edge. Fusion Demacia Edge. Fusion Edge. I think the ladies and gentlemen want to hear these on a clean tone. Do just they? to see. Well, probably. Let's just give them a bit of clean Gulver sack. <laughs> Really, really, really resonant. Mm. Did you hear how resonant that was? Mm. It's. Can you feel the headstock? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa! It's it's a super resonant guitar. It's like vibrating like crazy. It's so absolutely beautifully made. So the um, the timbers used on the guitar. I mean, they're all you know prime kind of you know, what I guess most people would class as tone woods. So we've got a, uh, a three-piece neck on both with a babinga kind of stripe going through the middle of a, a maple neck. Bird's eye maple fretboard, as I said. What they're calling a layered ash um, body, and you can kind of see that there's there's some sort of strip of a dark wood going through the, the middle here, which I guess is probably just a detail thing. And then the seven string has a, a burled poplar um, top in this stunning kind of you know, sort of oceany, kind of greeny blue, swirly kind Mermaid of Mermaid ass. Mermaid's ass. That's a great name for a colour. We're stealing that for sure. Yes. Uh, and then the six has a rosewood, very just a thin rosewood kind of veneer on the top. Um, I don't know if uh, Ibanez will be introducing, you know, this guitar in this colour or vice versa or other colours. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the uh, description below. And then every time you come back to this video, if you visit that link, it'll update all the different colours that are available. You know, I realised I just did something and it probably looked a bit crazy and I wanted to explain what I just did. Because what did you do? I don't think a lot of people will know about this, or for sure I, I wouldn't have known about this. When I went to visit uh, the factory that makes Chapman guitars, yeah. I was taught something that I thought was incredible by um, one of the guys that managed it. And he said to me, if you get a guitar and you're interested in buying it, and you want to know if it's going to be a good guitar from the get-go, you simply hold the neck and you tap the body and it'll have a tone. It'll, it'll, it'll have a note to it. In this case, it's that note. Right. And then if you hold the body and tap the neck, uh, it'll have another tone. That's, and they've got to be... Now, if those tones are harmonious, yeah. it will resonate better and mm. give better resonation if they're if they're dissonant, so flat yeah. two or a, or a tritone, then it will fight. The guitar will fight itself and cancel out harmonics. He's impressed with this because this is a noise. I am, I am impressed. And, and yeah. this is harmonious. So when I when I played a chord and was like, wow, this guitar is loving the fact that the whole thing is doing its thing. I thought, I wonder if it's a harmonious pitch match, and it was. So there you go, kids. You can tap things well, and see what was going on. Do you know on. what though? And and I love all that kind of stuff. But my experience of of guitars over the last three or four years has actually been to try and put aside all of that stuff that you read about just play it. Words. yeah and literally just play. <laughs> and even even down to the point where you hear people who say do you know what I play it and if it sounds really great acoustically then I know it's going to be a great guitar and I sort of sit there going well, you're never going to actually play it like that so why don't why don't you just plug it into yeah. an amp and go dun 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 do I like the sound and feel of yeah, the guitar yeah. and then if you do you do, but what's and if interesting, you don't, you don't. <coughs> what's like, interesting about the neck and yeah. body tap test is it's more to do with whether the wood will yeah. vibrate and sustain a note than will it add tone to the guitar. And again, there there are there are many players, um, you know, far more talented and successful than I am, uh, who again <coughs> say that that uh, mounting the pickups straight into the body yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than on a on a pickup ring is, yeah. is a great way to kind of add sustain to the yeah. to the guitar. People say a lot of things.
what's going on here. All I can hear is this noise going. It's awesome. <coughs> Should we give them some game sounds? Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I, I just want to. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna critique this because I know people like the critique, and it's a minuscule thing, and it may actually not even be the guitar. It may be my. Uh, maybe my, just be my pedal setup. But with lots of gain, the volume control does kind of like almost acts just like an on-off switch. I couldn't get that kind of ooh, oh, really? swell. It's there on the clean channel, so that's why I'm wondering whether it's, it, that's why I'm wondering whether or not it's my uh, pedals. But, but with all the, this is gonna be a bit loud again, it kind of just went. Yeah. But that, that might, I've got tons and tons of gain on the Well, that's here, interesting. So let, that. let, me, let me try the same thing with mine because. It's a very short bite yeah, before a, it comes it into being. So I was almost thinking, do you know what you could do with that? Is you could almost have your sort of. Um... No, it doesn't work. Doesn't... I was going to say, <laughs> you could try and use it as like a kill switch type thing. Make a bad really thing work. into a good thing, Lee but, um, Anderton. But uh, yeah, so we've missed a really, really important feature on this, and that's that the um, scale length is extended. Yeah. So this is a 26 and a half, well, both of these are 26 and a half inch scale length, and, and out the box, they'll be tuned from D to D. Oh no, not on this one, it won't be, will they? On that one, it'll be D to D. And on this one, it's got a drop. What would you have if your bottom string, if you're, if this is a D, what would this be? Well, I would tune that to an A. a. You, I'd make it, it an A. B, because, wouldn't it, surely? Well, it was, you, you can tune to whatever you... This is the thing. The problem with seven-string players is that they do Bs, they do As, they do but, all sorts yeah. of stuff. Well, so this is this is tuned to an A, isn't it? So And it's a little flabby with this size of string Well, to be on fair, it, so it's I not would, strung for it to be tuned yeah, to, but I, 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 I do I it because I want... I would put a string on yeah. this to tune to this. But... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's geared up for it, though. And if you look on the back of the guitar, they've got a big hole. They've, eat, they've, they've thought of absolutely everything. So, so your bottom string, they've put a, uh, are these called bezels? I think they're called bezels. Uh, so this is string big enough ferules. to put ferrules. You're completely right, ferrules. Uh, they've put a, uh, for, your, for your bottom string, they've put a ferrule on that's big enough to put a bass string through. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, even the, the, the bottom two ones are even slightly pulled back a bit further just to sort of I don't compensate know, you for the difference. A little extra tension maybe, or a little yeah. bit less, a uh, little bit less of a angle as the, guitar goes strung through the body. What are yours? Have you got dodgy... Have you got <coughs> yes, yours is the same, you see. Yeah. They think of everything. Well, it's either that or fan fret, and to be honest, I prefer this to fan fret. I think well, we're going to do some fan fret videos. Uh, we're going to do did some not fan know fret that. videos. Not this month, because the guitars aren't here yet, but there'll be Ibanez again, I think, but we'll nice. do some Ibanez fan fret videos. I played the fan fret, and I kind of found it to feel the same as a normal one, but, I, but when I look at it, it put me yeah. off and I felt dizzy. Every anyway. <laughs> In the middle position. A delayed I, pedal. I, I am not familiar with these Demacio Fuse pickups, but I think I need to become familiar with become them. Become familiar. Sound, they sound Kill all the reverb, kill all the delay. Sounds great. Damn. 
can. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, so. Wait, do the tests. Now, I, I just want to say at this particular point, for you guys, if, if you on the interweb already know how much these costs, you are now banned from the following sort of competition test thing. But I don't you, know how much these costs. If you don't know... I don't know. What do you... Th well, I suppose in fairness, we've said they're Indonesian, so we know they're going to be uh, value guitars. But if you held that up and said, you know, would you put this in the sort of budget Ibanez range, the mid-price Ibanez range, or the premium Ibanez range? I, I'd go... If I didn't know it was made in Indonesia, I'd go, pre I'd go premium. Okay, look, like, I don't, I, we can do this test on me. I, I swear on my life and my mother's life, I don't know how yeah. much these are worth or cost. Yeah. I know about guitar manufacturing, I know about the factory that makes these, and I know mm. about materials and how much they cost. I would say this is at least a grand. Wow. I mean, you I'm could be very not now. be further from the truth. Really? It's, it's like half that. What? It's, um, yeah, five, seven, nine. No way. And this one, if you like the seven for your extra string, is six forty nine. That's that's English money, including VAT. I don't know what that's going to equate to in in dollars, but well, I'm kind um, of embarrassed because I mean, well, I'm not embarrassed. It's worth every single penny. I'd be super proud if I was Ibanez and I've made this guitar and I was Ibanez for like done really, really good. With so these. should we just do some tones on the seven? Yeah, man, do it. it okay, so. Um, I am using for my distortion. I, I, I do not have a traditional high gain amp set up here. So. Anyway. I can't even play a seven string, I don't know what Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can do it, you can do so, it. So, these are the... Years. No coil tap or anything like that, just very straightforward. And then I'm using a, 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 <laughs> a, a full-tone plimsoll with an EP boost on the floor, which is super thick, and I really liked this one kind of chord, which I think is like a four. And if you play them both together, you get this crazy... play it. Go on, you're more the seven string. In fact, you're just more oh, the guitar player. I'm such a seven um, string player, it's unbelievable. I thought you sounded great with the seven string. I don't know. I, I think you of, uh, always sound great. I love you, man. <laughs> I I could do that all day. All day. I took off the verb and the delay because we thought it was important. We, um, but just, but just one, just one, just one. <laughs> That's a 
That's all I want to do. <laughs> should, 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 we, should we ask um, Afro Daddy to come in and just have it? Because he hasn't. Afro Daddy? <laughs> Did you hear? Afro Daddy? Yeah. And, and I'm going to go and make a cup of coffee. You're going gonna to make us a coffee? Yeah, <laughs> bring it on. We haven't got any coffee. Oh, what? What? We haven't got any coffee. We haven't got any coffee. <sighs> Hi, Rob. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm holding a cricket bat. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just, they're really, really wide. Right. They're wide, but in a really reassuring kind of way. Feels nice, it's just got, really flat. If you've got man hand. <laughs> Okay, so just before we say goodbye in this video, I have just had uh, a confirmed world exclusive to uh, Jabbers and the Captain. Uh, the six string will indeed be available in this color, but probably not until about April. So as I said before, check the comments section below, or not comments, the description, and I'll put links to where you can find out about colors. Um, but yes, fair to say we That's have great been news. mighty impressed with these I've been guitars. very, very impressed. In fact, let me just quickly phone uh, Ibanez. Hello, hello, Ibanez. Yes. I would like to place an order for these new um, uh, drop, you know, tuned RG models, please. Yes, I just need lots. Is that okay? Purchase order signed by Lee Anderton just says lots. Thank you. Lots. Bye. Well, that's good. Yeah. Is that how ordering normally works? Lots. Then? Well, that's yeah. great. Awesome. <laughs> Look forward to them being purchased very soon by internet hordes. Let's hope so. I've been Rob Chapman. I've been the captain. Bye.